Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to send dynamic emails in Outlook in UiPath. So this is another tutorial of UiPath email automation. So we are going to learn how to send the dynamic emails. You can see the screenshot here that we are passing the current date and here we are passing the, the email response name. Earlier, you were just sending a static mail like hard coded value you are just passing from the config file or you are directly putting the body message and you are sending that. But now in this video, we are going to learn how to put the name of that recipients. Let's say you are going to send email to someone else and you have that name available, then you can, you know, put that name after that high, you know, word, you can see the screenshot here and you can pass your dynamic value inside that email body message and in subject line also. So let's see the agenda. We are going to learn how to send dynamic email, how to send email to multiple recipients from Excel file. So as of now you have learned like how to send one email to just multiple people by just putting multiple email address in two section. But now we have the multiple email address and we'll read that email address from the excel file and send email to multiple recipients we will learn how to pass dynamic value in email subject and body message and we will learn how to send outlook email with data table let's say you have a data in the data table and you want to get that data from the data table and you can pass that data in your outlook let's say you are sending an email with the final report to your client and you want to put the value of the uh, you know the total transaction total you know count something in your email that today we have received this much of transaction this much of loans count something then you can put that count so let me just show you in UiPath studio how can we pass dynamic value in email subject and body and how can we get email address multiple email address from the excel file and send right so let me open uipath studio so as you know that uh, we are going to start from the previous one if you have not seen my previous video then i will recommend you to go and watch that video and then it will be easy to understand the next step current video and you know that we are uh, using the rearrange and for each loop to read the data from the config file and add to the dictionary and then we are using the same here you can see here in the config we have the data like to recipient from recipient subject message and the body message so in the to recipient we are sending email to one person or if you want to send to multiple then you know that you can you know put the separator here and you can you know write another email address and this is the static message subject line and this is the static body message now we are going to do some changes in this part like let's say we have hi here and this time we are going to send an email to someone else then that name should be updated here let's say we are going to send to email to you know myself monies then that time it will show hi monies and in the same template if you are sending this mail to someone else like uipath rpa so this will be updated like uipath rpa as per email and if you are sending email to let's say Rahul you know John anyone then that name will be updated there this is the config file and now you can see here in the I have a list of emails let's say you have hundreds of emails and you want to send a invitation something or an email to all this email ID because you have the list of email IDs and you want to send content any message to uh, that email id is then you can do that you can read all this data from the email id from this excel file and you can do that so currently i have only two email ids so i'm, I'm going to show you with the two so uh, i believe this is enough for you you can put all these things automatically it will take all this you can see here currently we are passing the two recipient from the config file now we are going to pass this two recipient from this this excel file email list for that first we need to read that excel file because if we'll not read that excel file then how can we get data from there right so we'll do one thing we'll take a read range activity here and then we'll take that excel file email list 
and we have data in a1 to b3 so we'll update here b3 and the seat name is same now we'll take a data table so i have this emails dt data table now what happens like we are reading this data and storing in the data table right so now we need to get the data from the data table right so same way if you, if you are you are working on any project and you have the data in the data tables then you can get the data from the data table and you can write here so now i'm going to show you that this time we are not reading the two recipient from the config file we are going to read from the data table and how can we read each email id so we have to use for each let's go to the here and we'll take for each row here and then we'll write here emails dt it means we are going to read one by one row from the this data table and then we'll put this activity inside this body now we have the row and then we are going to get the list of emails here so we have this header you can just go and check this add headers and now in the to recipient here we are just going to pass here row open close bracket double quotation and then we'll pass this this column name email ids and that dot to string so what will happen first time it will read this excel file and then first time when it will enter into the loop it will send one email to this email id this one then after this second time it will run into the loop and then it will send to the second email id right by this way we are getting the email id's list of email id's and we can send and now here you can see we have the subject message from this config dictionary right and the body message also now we are going to do some changes in the subject message also here let's say every time we are sending a report to a client to a manager so we can put a date that this email is for this date you can do one thing you can put the current date in the subject line it means you can pass the dynamic value you are not you know just putting a static subject so you can just do one thing you can go and click on this subject line and here you need to pass current date so how can you do that you have to write here date time date time dot now so using this date time dot now you will get the current date with the time also but now we need to just you know put the date there so for that we have to convert this to the date time so we'll write here convert dot to date time open close bracket and then we'll put that date time dot now inside this and then here we'll write dot to sort date string it means we just need a date not time right here convert dot to date time in the bracket date time dot now dot to sort date string and now in the here we can write plus double quotation will we can put here one space or we can put here underscore so it will show date underscore your body message now plus now press okay so by this way you are passing the dynamic value in the subject you are passing the current date time it will automatically change as per the current date let's say you are sending email tomorrow then that will be updated as a tomorrow date now now we need to pass the dynamic value inside this body message so currently in the body message we are just passing a static but now we need to pass here the email address name the person so currently we have this name here if we are sending this email to this email id then the name should be this we have this body message you have to do one thing you have to write here string dot format 
dot format if you don't know about this string dot format you can go through my uh, previous video I have you know created a video for this string dot format method right so you can just write here string dot format and open close bracket and then you can see here it shows that string dot format format as a string so this will be our string and then comma parameter array arguments as an object now we need to pass here comma and this part is our just body message because we are getting the static message from the config file now we need to pass here name we need to write here hi and then after that that name so we can do one thing we have to write here row open close bracket double quotation and then name dot to string then close this so it means we are passing the here first string and this is our parameter now how can you use this parameter inside this body message so for that you have to go to the your static message body message and here let's say you want to use that name after this hi so what you have to do you have to just write here in curly braces zero it means it will take as a parameter array so from the ui path studio it will take this row of name because we have this row of name in the email list here in this data table so first it will take this email this name and write here because we are passing this here comma we are passing row name dot to string so this will be passed to zero it means zero of array that array here this will be passed to hi this and if you will pass here one then it will go and look for the second value of that array so currently we are not passing second value we are just passing one it means we need to write here zero right so we'll just pass here zero and if you need to pass one more value then you have to let's say you have to write here so let's say you want to pass here another data dynamic data here let's say i have a variable here uh let me take here and i'm just going to put anything here let's say i'm just going to pass here price right and this will be or this will, this is just a count so i'm putting here 10 and this is 20 save this and this time i'm showing you how to send the second value also so that you can write multiple values in body message so just click on this and here now again you have to put here comma and this is another parameter parameter array so we'll write here row of count c o u n t count and then dot to string this time you can see here we are passing one and this is two two parameters so this time our body message should be here this is our one so this zero will take the data from the first value first array and now we are passing here uh, let's say count count and this will be our uh, in the curly braces will pass here one so what will happen let me show you so this time here zero will take from the name and one will take from the count right now save this and close this config file and close this email list and you will see here when we will send this email will run this project email id will take from the email list and send to that recipient and will update that current date and with that dynamic value now let's run this control f5 
So it shows that message column count does not belong to the data table. Right now, why are we getting this error? Because we are passing the only B3. So we have to write here C3. So make sure you are passing the correct range. Now run this again, control F5. Okay, so this is successful. And let's go to the sent email because we are using this outlook to send the email, right? So you can see here, the time is 1, 1. First email sent to this two recipient and the subject line shows here the current date underscore send dynamic email and this is showing hi monies this count is this email is to teach you how to send dynamic email and the count is 10 and the second email sent to uipath r so it shows hi uipath rpa and this is count 20 and this is the date right now you can see here from the config here and the email list in the email list for the this email id we are passing the 10 count and for this email id we are passing 20 now you can check with the ui path r so it shows the 20 and here it shows 10 right so by this way we can pass the dynamic value from the data table and we can send email to multiple recipient from the excel sheet now in the next video we will learn how to send a cell slip to multiple email address let's say if you are working in a company as a hr executive in hr department and you want, you have the list of cell slip and you want to send one one cell slip attachment to email address right so you can do this so in next session we can learn this so before that you can try to do that that cell slip how to send cell slip or like attachment to email ids thank you so much friend thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe and please press the like button and if you have any question please comment on video